I have a question here that I've been battling with the notion that if there is no ego being illusory and if there's no I, then what is it that reincarnates? Which part carries the karma? From the viewpoint of Advaita, there is no one who reincarnates and therefore there is no reincarnation. There is not even incarnation. To incarnate means to appear in human form, in the flesh, and that's what we appear to be. But it is only an appearance. We are not any more in the flesh, here and now, when we take ourselves to be a real person in a dream. In that state, we think we are, but we're no more than a figment of our own imagination. And we are no more real in this daily dream. Now, you might feel incredulous about this statement, but it's not something we can grasp without long preparation. Unless you've had a revelatory experience from the cosmos, you'll be hard put to digest the actuality. Especially when we've come to accept the taken for granted notion of reincarnation from Buddhism and the statements of the Hindu sages. Otherwise, we have to speak in a manner that ordinary people can grasp. So it is that the gurus explain past life memories and cyclic recurrences as reincarnation. But what is actually occurring is past life dreams. When at what is called death, we pass out of this life dream into the bardo, in between space between death and the concept of another birth. And we create a bardo dream until we fade out of that and enter into another life dream. Possibly in some other dimension or in this one, if we are especially attracted or attached to this particular kind of world dream. Now, although the ego is a fictitious entity, being no more than a centripetal focus point, we have decided to identify with it by endowing it with an identity, which we foolishly take to be me. And it's to this mental force field, which we have strengthened by identifying with it, that all karmas accrue. And it's the activity of karma that creates the continuous cycles of what appears to be life and death. And, and because we're so identified with this self-centered mode of functioning, it is that identification which carries the karma from one life dream to the next. But ultimately, it has to be understood that whatever appears in consciousness can only be a thought. The thought of existing, of being, only occurs when consciousness arises. And without that happening, you don't exist. And consciousness itself is in the nature of thought. So ask yourself, is it possible for a thought to reincarnate? All through my book, You Are the Light, Secrets of the Sages Made Simple, I've attempted to awaken the comprehension of this understanding in as many ways as possible. If you want to go deeper into the subject, check out the book.